striking hall with those great screens on either side. Is that cat belching at the United Kingdom entry? This is it. This is the one. Now, almost inevitably, the United Kingdom is installed as a favorite of the Eurovision, which has not always worked to our advantage. There's hardly any need for me to describe what you're seeing here. Just to tell you that, to uh, refresh your memory, that the song is Give a Little Love Back to the World. And I walked away with the song for Europe contest about a month ago. The lady singing it is 15 years of age, Emma. From Bridge End in South Wales, she's the youngest ever British entrant. We're making our way to Wales. That's Conway Castle. The railway of today meets the castle of yesterday and to the little trains of Wales. And to Cardiff, suitably enough, for the lady comes from Wales. And we're all keeping our fingers crossed and everything else too, for Emma. This is it, the United Kingdom entry. Give a little love back to the world, orchestra conducted by Alan Ainsworth. reception and rightly so for Emma give a little love back to the world the United Kingdom entry we hope to talk to Emma before the scoring from the national jury starts and I'll be looking forward to congratulating her now Helga Vlahovic well we are obviously having a great time in this hall which may not be a very big one but tonight it's got the largest audience in the world and the rows of seats starting right here in front of the stage don't just stop back at the hall, but carry on throughout the world. And although people are watching in places very far apart, even in different continents, now at this moment, we are all together. A thousand million of us. Can you imagine a thousand million people all together? 
having such a beautiful time and sharing this evening of music. And this year, the Eurovision Song Contest is being watched not only in the countries of Eurovision, but also in the Soviet Union, Poland, Czechoslovakia, Hungary, Romania, Bulgaria. And it doesn't stop there. It goes on and on around the world to Australia and China and Japan and South Korea and Canada. And I would like to take this opportunity, ladies and gentlemen, to wish all of you watching the Eurovision Song Contest for the first time a very warm hello. But now, back to Eurocat. That wasn't an awfully warm hello, but thank you. <laughs> 